It is a go-to for meal preparation when you don't have time to cook a big family dinner. Registered dietitian Tammy Famusa is here today with slow cooker do's and don'ts. And they're so convenient. But they can actually be dangerous. And the temperature is one thing you really want to watch. The, it is. The temperature is huge. So this is the gold standard. Everybody knows this should be between 40 and 140. You need to keep it. That is the danger zone. So okay. you need to make sure that you keep everything out of that. So hotter I mean, so, than 140 right, degrees. Right, or less than 40. Okay. And that's always been the standard for everything. Okay. Um, but I know we don't follow it because we've all been using crockpots since the 70s, I looked up. And the reason we started crockpots is because women went to work. And so they started the yeah, crockpot. Yeah, women right? working. Yeah, maybe. But they are super convenient. They so are. you have a list of do's and don'ts. So we're going to go through as many okay. of those as we all can. Right, let's Starting do it. with um, choose dishes that have high moisture content. So the moisture content, you want, you want to make sure that you have the moisture because that's going to build steam. And steam means heat, which kills bacteria. Okay. So that's an yeah. easy one. That's an easy one. Don't put frozen ingredients in there. Yeah, you want to make sure. I think if you have frozen vegetables or something, we all do that. But if you have something like a solid frozen chicken, you don't want to throw that in there, right? Even if you put it on high heat first, that's not going to work. It's not, it's, that is very dangerous to do something like that, just okay. throwing in frozen chicken. So make sure you thaw your you meat. You want to thaw it in the refrigerator, yeah. th thaw it under running cold water. And then refrigerate prepped ingredients prior to cooking. That's pretty... Self-explanatory. Yep. Cut meat and poultry into chunks. Now, this one threw me off because the only time I use my slow cooker is for a chuck roast or a whole chicken. Right, and people do it all the time. But if you're sick the next day or two days later, you'll know why. But we've been doing it for years. But what they suggest is cutting it up and making sure you have smaller bits because the smaller bits are going to cook quick, quicker. Because if you have a big roast like this, yeah. um, we, we can talk about it later. One of the other ones is cooking at a high temperature for an hour right. and then turning it down. That might help. But if you have a huge roast in there and you've just got this thing plastered, it could be dangerous. Maybe you won't get sick. Maybe you will. So good to know. Right. Good to know and make some changes. And then don't overfill your slow cooker. Well, that's what I was talking about fill it. You want to make sure that it's at least up to, a, like, not more. You don't want it all the way up to the top. So if you have like it all the way up. three quarters full. Yeah, three full. quarters full. And then you don't want it too low either. So you want a certain amount. Just Why is that? The, just because you want to make sure you have the, again, the steam concept, yep. the heat concept. And that's why this is all built like this for the heat. And you want to make sure you have enough on top that you build heat on top that okay. cooks on top. As well. So this next one is what you were talking about. The USDA suggests that you start a dish on high. Right. If you want to cook on low for the first for the whole thing, and then move it to low. Exactly, because if you're cooking on high, especially something like you that's throwing on a whole roast like that's yeah. completely raw, and especially I wouldn't be doing it right now. I haven't done it lately. Okay, but. good. But you know, you cook it on high, it's going to start zooming in on that and cooking it faster. Okay. And then when you that way you've cooked it, you've really got the heat in this because when you put this in, this is cold, right? Right. I mean, you want to heat it up, and then when you turn it down, it's going to continue to cook at a slower, nice, even texture like we like. Sounds good. Tammy, thanks so All much. All right. We appreciate it as always, and we'll be right back with the final look at your forecast after this.